some of the business that real estate agents have is because couples are getting divorced. But also just anybody listening, even if you're happily married, you still might not know steps you could take in the eventual case that something happens to protect your assets, to protect your property. So I just kind of want to talk about what your advice might be to people going through it. Let's start with if you heard that a happily married couple was buying a house together, do you have any advice that you would give them as steps they might be able to take to kind of protect their property and assets? Actually, just this morning, I was working on a post nuptial agreement for a couple. And that's probably one of the best things. It's an interesting thing because everybody is very familiar with prenups, mm -hmm. you know, the contract that you enter into before you get married to protect your premarital assets. But what happens along the way is life changes. Being able to work something out when you're on good terms and thinking about what happens if our worst case scenario, what happens if one of us is to die, what happens if our marriage isn't working and we're going to get divorced. Because ideally, if you are going to get divorced, it doesn't become that high level of conflict that my firm often sees. You know, ideally, it happens where you can still walk away, maybe not being best friends, but being on very good terms. Yeah. And I think a lot of times a post not helps for that. You know, it helps with the planning of, well, who's going to get to keep it? You know, how do we lay out the rules? 